Hello everyone, welcome back to our maths class, class 9. Uh, we are doing from set 14, question number 21 today, group D. Uh, previously we have done group A and group B, C and group C. I have told you the complete group C in previous video. I have uploaded question number 11 to 15. Now let's solve question number 22. Question is like this A man declared that he will give 20% discount on each item, every item in his shop. Sita bought a rice cooker from the shop at Rs. 3500. If the shopkeeper made a profit of 5% on selling rice cooker to Sita, Find the cost price of mark price and cost price of end mark price and discount amount of the rice cooker. First of all, list what are given there. 3500, 20% discount. Discount percent is given 20%. And Sita bought a rice cooker from the shop at Rs. 3500. This is not cost price, this is selling price because we are doing from the side of shopkeeper. That's why Sita bought means shopkeeper sold. So selling price of rice cooker is 3500. If the shopkeeper made a profit of 5%. Profit percent is 5%. We have to find cost price, mark price and discount amount. Cost price, mark price and discount amount. So first of all let's find, let's try to find mark price. SP is given, profit percent is given. We can find CP also. And M. Okay, let's find CP then. Now, CP, SP is given, profit percent is given. So, for CP, 100 into SP by 100 plus profit person can be used 100 into SP is 3500 divided by 100 plus 5 percent now let's multiply this is 35 0, 0, 0, 0, divided by 105 35 Zero, 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 0 divided by 105 is 3333 3, 3, 3. 3, 3. this is cost price now it is also given to find mark price now for mark price SP is equals to 100 minus discount percent of mark price where selling price is given 3500 is equals to 100 minus discount percent is given 20 percent so divide by 100 into mark price is unknown 3500 into this 100 comes up and 100 minus 20 80 is equals to mark price so from here we can get MP this 0 and 0 can be cancelled 3500 into 10 35,000 divided by 8 is 4000 7 sorry 375 this is the required mark price now next it is also given to find discount amount
discount amount how can we find discount amount discount percent is also there MP is also there so you can find discount percent of MP 20% of 4375 Twenty percent of four thousand three hundred seventy-five is eight hundred seventy-five. First of all, uh, SP is given, so we can find CP cost price and for mark price MP minor discount percent of MP can be used and discount amount discount percent of MP mark price. Okay, next question. Question number twenty-three. The length and length, breadth, and height of the room of a room are in the ratio of five is to three is to one, and the room contains nine sixty meter cube of air. What is the cost of plastering its walls and ceiling at rupees thirty per square meter? Here length breadth height ratio of length breadth height is given is given so we can let the require length breadth and height be 5x 3x and 1x respectively and the room contains 960 meter cube of air that is volume of a room is given 960 meter cube now for this volume is L into B into H is equals to 960 meter cube length is 5x breadth 3x and height just x is equals to 960 meter cube 5 threes are 15 x x x x cube is equals to 960 so x cube is equals to 960 divided by 15 is 64 So x is equals to 4 cube root of 64 is 4 meter now after getting this we have to find the cost of plastering is wall and ceiling so let's find area of wall and ceiling first for that we require length breadth and height so length is 5x so 5 into 4 20 meter breadth is equals to 3 into 4 and height is just x 4 meter now let's find area of wall and ceiling area of walls and ceiling what is the formula of area of wall and ceiling area of wall is 2 h l plus b and ceiling is l into b 2 4 length is 20 plus 12 length into breadth 20 into 12 8 32 plus power than the job is 24 240 meter square 32 into 8 256 meter square plus 240 meter square 496 meter square is area of walls and ceiling 
Now after getting area of wall and ceiling, we have to find cost of plastering is equals to area into rate. 496 meter square into rupees. What is the rate? 30 per square meter. 30 per square meter. So meter square, meter square can be cancelled. 496 into 30 is 14,880. This is the required cost of plastering area. Uh, plastering for walls and ceiling. Okay, next question from algebra. <coughs> Uh, in group D, there are four questions, one from algebra, one from arithmetic, one from geometry, and one from others like uh, men sorry, mensuration in class 9. And here, P square minus N square equals to 1. It is given. Now left hand side, what is there in left hand side? X M into X N M minus N X P into X minus N N minus P x p into x minus m p plus m now when we multiply power should be added so m plus n m minus n here also p minus n n minus p oh sorry n plus p is here p minus m p plus m now powers power then we can multiply a plus b a minus b form so a square minus b square here also a square minus b square here also a square minus b square now all the bases are same if all the bases are same then power should be added m square minus n square p square minus n square p square minus m square Uh, this plus m square minus m square can be cancelled now p to p 2p square minus 2n square 2 is common b square minus n square 2 this is 1 because p square minus n square is given 1 x square which is given in right hand side here just multiplication so power should be added any power co power then a square minus b square co formula now add this all uh, this plus and minus m square can be cancelled remaining add from there from given it is 1 so x square is a from right side it is proved okay last question uh, ABCD is a quadrilateral now P, Q, R, S, R, midpoint of sides A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A respectively. We have to prove that P, Q, R, S is a parallelogram. First of all, given A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. P, Q, R, and S are midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A respectively. Here we have to prove P, Q, R, S is a Sorry, it is quadrilateral, not parallelogram.
Here we have to prove PQRS is par paralleogram. Now let's join uh, any one diagonal. Let's join this AC or we can join BD also. A and C are joined. Now let's make table. Serial number, statements and this side reasons now in this triangle ACD in triangle ACD this RS is equals to half of AC and RS is parallel to AC this RS is half of AC and parallel to AC because of midpoint theorem we can write the line joining the midpoint of these two are midpoint the line joining the midpoint of two sides of the triangle is parallel and half of the third side RS joins midpoint of two sides of a triangle R and S are midpoint that is why this line <coughs> R and S are midpoint of these two points these two lines that is why this line is parallel and half of third side similarly PQ sorry in triangle ABC PQ is half of AC and PQ is parallel to AC PQ is half of AC and PQ is parallel to AC you are also same PQ joins midpoints of AB and BC now this RS is also half of AC, R PQ is also half of AC, that is why RS and PQ are equal. Similarly, both are parallel to AC, so RS and PQ are parallel. From statement 1 and 2. Now, since these two lines are parallel and equal, since these two lines are parallel and equal, the lines joining them also are parallel and equal. PS is equals to QR. PS is equal to, eh, sorry, parallel to QR. Lines joining the parallel and equal side are also parallel and equal. Line joining parallel and equal lines are also parallel and equal now these opposite sides are equal also parallel so that is why p q r s is a parallelogram opposite sides are being equal and parallel which proves our theorem okay First of all, this line is parallel and half of this side. Similarly, this line is parallel and half of this side. Now, since these two are parallel to this, so these two are also parallel and equal as well. 
now if two lines are parallel equal line joining them are also parallel and equal okay thank you class this much for today see you in next class have a good day bye bye